Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to have a little chat about what makes a special miniature not all that special, okay? So, for Warhammer Day, 30th of October, there are two miniatures that are going to be available, right? You've got this one. This is a Primaris Lieutenant, a Blade Guard Lieutenant, and it's certainly a thing, it exists, it's fine, it's another Primaris Lieutenant, it's another Blade Guard, it looks exactly how you'd expect all of those things to look in combination, and then for the AOS side, you've got this, which is a new Vampire Lord. Now, there's something important to note about both of these models before we go into this, right? Firstly, this one is fantastic, and I absolutely love it. It's different, it's unique, it's not the same as any of the other Vampire Lords that you can find. The Vampire Lords, just as a group of models, it, actually there's not that many. There aren't a huge number to choose from, there's only a couple, and so in addition to that range, an addition that is as unique and different as this one, really stands out. It's not just a really well sculpted model with a really cool idea behind it, but it's also unique in comparison to other things that are available for it. So, if we have a look at another Vampire Lord, there's, of course, a very similar style going on. If we have a look at the Crimson Court as well, there's a unity of design. Obviously, the Vampire Lords, they look a specific way. They have a certain style to the armour. They have a certain bearing, a certain kind of attitude, and the way in which they're posed generally tends to be relatively similar in that they all look quite powerful and arrogant and, well, as you would want a Vampire Lord to look. But while these and this all share a similar design and all share a similar kind of overall attitude, none of them look exactly like this. This is something new. It's something different. It's something that's part of another range and it shares all the design elements of that range, but it is not, like, it is not just the same as any of the others. You can clearly distinguish between this, this, and any of these. Specifically, of course, the, uh, the, the the woman vampire lordess, I don't know, at the back there, but you get what I mean, right? Similar designs, similar ideas, totally different execution. Totally different execution. This works really well. I think this is a fantastic model. This is one of the few kind of like special edition things where I am probably going to, I'm going to have to get this because I want to get this before it disappears and I'm never able to get it again. I really like this particular model. The same cannot be said for this. There is nothing wrong with this model. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying it's a bad miniature. It isn't. I mean, the, the details are well sculpted. The kind of composition of it is absolutely fine. It doesn't look out of place among the rest of the like, Primaris stuff. It's not badly executed. It's not like someone sat down and made an absolute shocker and you're looking at it going, why are they even selling this? No, this is perfectly fine. It's a perfectly serviceable model. There's nothing... There's nothing wrong with it, but in terms of it being a special model, in terms of it being like a limited edition, a you can only get this for a short amount of time, in terms of it being something new and impressive and interesting, it's not any of those things because it looks like a kit bash. This is the issue that I have with this, right? This is why I don't think this is a special, special model. It doesn't look special. It looks like something anyone could make with the kits that currently exist from Games Workshop. Not only that, but it doesn't even look like it would take much effort to make this. The same cannot be said for this model. There is no kit that particularly resembles this outside of the fact that it's got some kind of bat wing shaped armour. It's not like you could just take this Vampire Lord or take a model from, from the Crimson Court and be like, hey, I've managed to make that. No, it would require a significant amount of effort and green stuff and sculpting. You'd effectively be making this borderline, like, from scratch if you wanted to build this thing, if you wanted this to be something that you have kitbashed together. It's new. It's different. This is not that. This isn't special because this just looks like something anyone could make without really having to put a huge amount of effort into it. I mean, for a start... For a start, the first time I saw it, if it hadn't have had a a like a, a, a date on it, if it hadn't specifically called out the fact that this is supposed to be something new, I would have. I thought it was this. I just misremembered what this looked like. I mean, the similarity is pretty damn striking. Yeah, it's not exactly the same. It's not identical, but the pose is pretty damn similar for a start. 
there's no skeleton on the shield, so uh, clearly this one is superior in that fashion, but this looks like any Blade Guard model, or the Captain, out of, uh, out of the Command Edition, just with a different head, and maybe a different shield. That's all it looks like. I mean, if we look at this guy and then look at the actual Blade Guard kit, right? So if you look at, I mean, two of them have got what look like pretty much exactly the same lower half, if not the same body, pretty much. There's no, there's nothing really different going on there at all. The holster down the front, the robe coming down the front, obviously there is a unity of design there. There has to be because it's a Blade Guard Lieutenant. It has to match. But just because something has to match doesn't mean that it has to be boring or look like it's just something that you would be able to get out of a box or kit bash yourself in a matter of seconds, right? I mean, the amount of bits that you get for the Blade Guard veterans, it's not a huge amount, but I'm not like, I'm not looking at this and thinking, oh wow, it's a special limited edition thing. I'm not looking at it and thinking, this is something new, this is something we don't have. Instead, I look at it and I just see things you can already get from existing boxes, things that you could easily make yourself, things that you don't actually need to spend the extra money on or worry about if you miss out on. Instead, it just feels like something that you could put together yourself in a matter of minutes. Like, I'm not talking sitting there and hardcore going about, you know, sculpting something fresh and new, because I don't think you even need to do that. I don't think that's necessary to build this. I think you could take this box with these models in it, you could take this guy, and you could very quickly end up with something almost identical to this, right? And I just don't think that's very good. I just don't think that's, that's like, I don't think that's the way to go. If you're going to do something new, if you're going to do something that is supposed to be a celebration, something that is supposed to stand out, something that is notable for the fact that it is special or one-off or unique or, you know, a totally fresh addition to a range, make it something that actually looks all of those things. Make it something that is recognisably different, something that you know you can only get from this particular thing. There's no point doing limited edition, special edition, one-off models if those models just look like anything else that you could buy at any given time. This doesn't look like any of the other things you can get in the same thing. I'm focusing on these because these are the closest things that I can think of to that, and they're nothing like it. Outside of the fact the armour design is the same, the pose is totally different. The armor itself is totally different. The weapon being held is different. The head is different. The style, the way the armor is put together is totally different. It's actually different. It's actually something unique. It's actually something special for a special occasion. You can't say the same for that. You just can't. It's just not different. It's not unique. It's it's just a blade guard lieutenant that looks like every other blade guard you can already buy. Just as like a slightly less interesting blade card captain. And the thing is, you could recreate it so easily, which surely defeats the point. A special edition miniature isn't special if it looks like every other miniature of a similar type. But that's just one idiot's opinion. You might absolutely love this lad. If you do, then let us know in the comments down below. You might be that you're actually super excited for this guy. And that's fair. I would love to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.